to video number four of my craft series, um, gifts that you can give to coworkers, neighbors, friends, and also items that you can use in your craft fair. So this video we're doing super cute little um, bookmarks. They're altered paper clips, but they are also useful for planners which is uh, the craze right now, putting these cute little planner clips, depending on what you put on the front, you know, could be whatever theme, and they also could be used as a bookmark. So we're gonna put those together. I sold a lot of these, and sometimes I've had them, some of them I had in packs of three, some of them I just sold one and they were 50 cents. People who try to round out their change, these are good ideas to use when your when your items are like 250, 350, and then they you know you don't want to give change back or you don't have change. They could just pick this up 50 cents. Doesn't cost much to make, um, so it's a good deal. So what I'm using are um, extra large paper clips. These came from Daiso. They are a dollar fifty and there's 40 in here. So if you sold three of these clips you're done you're just you're you've paid for everything so um, as far as cost so this is what I'm using and then I'm also using um, for this one some just saying paper I got this from Natalie's shop which is put some bling on it on YouTube but on Zibit it's bling for me bling for you I'll put a link in the description box to that Zibit shop I'm also using some resin flower pieces also from Natalie's shop so be sure to check those out and see if they are still in there this is super super quick guys so you're gonna use some punches you can also use your dies but again if you're using this doing this for your craft fair you want this to go by really really fast so you can mass produce and not uh, invest a lot of time into it so I'm gonna pick two pieces of paper here I'm using two punches a scallop punch and a circle punch this is one and a half inch and this is one inch punch so you just you can use whatever you want as far as punches or dies but you just want one smaller than the other obviously so you can have just little um, layers there okay so all I'm really gonna do is cut out two pieces from this particular pattern paper super cute I like to have the more festive one at the bottom and then out of this paper, I'm going to use my one inch punch and kind of zero in on this turquoise color. And get a nice circle out of that. And then one more. Okay. Super easy. And then I'm going to take my glossy accents and then give that a good whisk center that you can also use buttons which I did um, a lot of those as well you can use um, butterflies different punches little other uh, other resin pieces other little die cuts I mean the possibilities are endless I'm just gonna swirl that around on there okay and then I'm going to use this hot pink resin piece on there. I'm going to apply that with a little hot glue to the center. And then I'm going to center it on to that middle piece and apply a little pressure. Okay. I'm also going to use some pop dot tape. This is by Forever in Time. I got this at Scrapbook Expo just a little piece if you have circle tape obviously if you're using circle punches that would be ideal but I don't so this is the back piece that's the piece with the little um, circle I'm gonna flip that over actually apply a little bit of hot glue apply my square piece a little piece of pop dot there just make sure it stays really good even though it's adhesive on there I like to apply a little hot glue then I'm going to apply my jumbo paper clip. Make sure the bottom piece obviously is facing the bottom. And a little hot glue, a lot of a dab. 
nice blob actually put the piece right center there and then take your top piece and try to match up the scallops if you're using the scallop and then just hold it there for a second so they could bind together okay really quick <laughs> super quick these are adorable look at that super adorable okay so quick packaging idea I put these in tiny little bags that I had but um, you can make a roll of six or however many ever you want just want to show you on a smaller scale let's just say you're doing two let's just say so what an, an idea is to take some scrap pieces of chipboard or whatever you have these are the back of those Michaels cards that we have left over you just want to measure out whatever you're using pieces of something sturdy cereal box or what have you I'm going to measure it out to about right about there so let's just say you're using that I like this rustic look on here I really do um so you can take a piece of scrap paper I use this one I use this side here so what I'm going to do I'm going to measure this out actually you don't even need to ruler I mean you don't even need to measure it you can just lay it on top of there and cut around it. That way it's not exact measurements because you never know if you're using, you know, you're doing a whole row of these or whatever. So, so that would look like that, right? So then you would take your paper and fold it. Okay, so this is the way that it goes. This is right side up. So you're going to fold it vertically or not even fold it, just hold it like this take some scissors and apply just two little cuts like that see it okay so I did that too far over but because I'm doing two but so that will go there like this and then you would apply we'll just do one but I was supposed to we'll fix it we'll fix it because I cannot not fix it this I'll just cut it down okay now we want to fold a little bit over cut two slits and then slip to the other side cut two slits really simple really easy that goes like this okay I am just going to apply Actually, um, I'm not going to do that because then you guys will be mess. You guys will be blaming me for messing up. You just want to apply some tape around the slits. Okay? If you want to, apply the glue. If you feel confident enough to do that, do hot glue. Okay? Got this extra off here. So you have your slits like that. Now you can take your paper clip. Where's my you have to pop that up a bit. It's down pretty tight. Clip. And put it in there. Clip. Now you can um, package this in a bag. Let's see, I got some clear bags over here. I get these clear bags from Etsy. You can put a little label or whatever you want, you want and there you go. Really quick, really easy, cute little bookmarks or planner clips. quick video for you today hope you guys will try that if you are liking this series please hit the like button leave a comment let me know what you think thank you guys so much for watching see you next time bye